G'day guys and welcome back to another episode of my XS 650 build. I'm really happy with the way this bike's going. It's actually looking like a bike again, which is amazing. And now that I'm stuck at home due to this uh, COVID-19 thing, I should be able to get really stuck into it. I've got most of the stuff that I need to finish it off. Uh, all I'm really waiting on is uh, wires and connectors to do the wiring, which is a job that I'm really not looking forward to, but I'll just cross that bridge when I get to it. So in today's video, all I've done is replace the uh, oil filters and the cam seals. For the oil filters, I didn't go into too much detail because my wife was in here sanding back furniture and it was really loud, but you can see what's going on from the video. Uh, for the cam seals, I went into a bit more detail. Um, it's the first time I've ever done it and I don't claim to be an expert, but once again, it's not that complicated and you can see what's going on from the video. Uh, so if you've been following the build and you like what you see, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy the video. So what I'm doing now is replacing the uh, camshaft seals. This is the right hand side. So under this cover is the mechanical advance mechanism. And underneath that is the right hand side cam seal. And there it is there. So this is the first time I've done this. So I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. But I figure I'll have to pull that nut off. And that seems to be the only thing holding the uh, advanced mechanism on. Alright, so it turns out I'm going to have to disassemble the whole advanced mechanism to get to this uh, ring nut that's under here.
That's the uh, mechanical advance assembly out now. So all I've got to do is remove this case and the seal sits in, in under there. Oh, there's a locator pin in there I still have to remove. There we go, I'll make sure I don't lose that. All right. And off comes the housing. So you can see there, you've got an O-ring seal and that just comes off nice and easy. And in there you've actually got the camshaft seal itself, which is the part that I'm replacing. All right, so to knock the seal out, I've just drilled this uh, hole in a piece of wood. I'm gonna put it there and see if I can knock it out with a pin or with a pin punch. That was easy. All right, here's the new seal. And that's just pushing in there. Right. Just to make sure it's all the way seated. There we go. All right, so before I install it with the new seal, uh, apparently it's a good idea to scuff up the uh, camshaft where the seal runs with a scourer. So I've nicked this one from my kitchen and I'll just give it a bit of a rough up now. Before I put the, uh, the housing with the new seal back on, I'll just run a little bit of oil on the inside of the seal and then slide that back over. There it goes. All right, so when I drove this uh, seal back into the housing, I think I actually drove it too far because when I put it on the first time, the second lip was barely touching the, uh, the camshaft contact area. So what I've done is I've just set it out from the, uh, the housing a little bit. And now when I put it on, if I get it around the right way, the seal actually seems to contact the camshaft a lot better. Um, it's not hit any, hitting anything that it shouldn't, so I'm just gonna stick with it like that. I think that'll seal a lot better. I'll put the locating pin back in. All right, and that plate can only go on one way because it's got that pin, that pin there, and that slot that goes over that locating pin. There it goes. So, the ring nut was next. And it's got this raised lip that goes in towards the engine. If 
I can get the threads lined up. So this shaft here has this locating pin on it as well. Which lines up with this slot here. And you've got an arrow of rotation there and that faces forward. Next goes the arms. All right, onto the other side now. Um, under this one, we've got the points. That's them there. Now the timing on this bike was already pretty good, so just to make things easy for me, I want to mark it so I can put it back exactly in the same place, and that way the timing should be pretty well right, and I won't have to screw around with it too much. So I'll just put a center punch I'll put two center punches here to line up with each other. In that way, I know where it was and I can put it back in the same place. All right, what else have we got? There we go. And there's the points assembly. We can go down there. You can see the oil in here where this one's been leaking. The other, the other side wasn't leaking, but I thought, well, I'm replacing one. I may as well replace them both. Alright, so I replaced that other seal, same way as you saw me do it before. And I'll just give this uh, surface in here a bit of a scuff up with the scourer. Run a bit of oil on the inside of the seal again.
make sure everything's lined up. And she's done.